welcome you all back to my channel my name is Aisha in today's video I will be showing you how to cut and sew your ashu key I mean the hair, the chair and the hand drop if you are new to my channel kindly click on the subscribe button don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video you will be notified and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up thank you all for your support god bless you all in your land we have three major types of ashoke we have the etu we have sonyo and alari those are the three popular ashoke in your land so i will still have it in different varieties we have it in vintage we have it in um onjao this one is this one is called Onjao. You can see we have it in Onjao and we have different types. We have it in different in different varieties. So, but the purpose of this tutorial is for me to show you how to cut and sew it. We can also have it in vintage Onjao. You can see the picture. So that's the picture of the Etsu Ashoke. And that is also the picture of Sonyo Ashoke. And also we have it in alari that's also the picture of alari so here i will be explaining in details how you can cut your elk j and your hand drop we have it in pack so if you want to get your ashoke you can get it in pack as in for your lj and your hand drop time they might have cut it and sometimes you might be the one to cut it by yourself so if you have it if they have cut it already you might have seven pieces or eight pieces inside but if you are the one cutting it by yourself sometimes you might have it also in seven pieces or in eight pieces but make sure the length of your ashoki when cutting it the length as in i mean the length this way you can see this one you can see this this is it i mean the length of your ashoki make sure it's more than two yard if you are taking the measurement you can use two and a half yard but two and a half yard is okay so i think the maximum should be two and a half yard but make sure it's more than two yard for you to be able to tie it very well both the edge and the hand drop have it in three pieces you can see this is it one two three so we have it in three pieces so i have this in ikili hangili when i bought this i have seven pieces inside so i used three pieces for ikili and three pieces for gili and my husband used one of it for so my husband used one of it for cap so this one let me show you we have it in pieces like this so this one piece is okay for men cap so, so i have my hand three three pieces i have one for edg and the other one for hand drop so i have it in three pieces you can see this is it so one two three so you can see the length so you can see this is the length so same thing so, and as for this when i bought this I have this in eight pieces so I use four pieces for Ipele and three pieces for edge as in the Gili I use three pieces for the Gili and I use four pieces for the Ipele and my husband used one pieces for his cap so you can see this is it one two three you can see it's three pieces this one is for the gilly so make sure the length is long so same thing so you can see so here is the equally so then when i use it i didn't use it as paja they call it paja when you put it at the shoulder so i didn't use it that way i use it on my waist so i tie it on my waist in between the dress i'm putting on when you are putting on bureau and boba or you are putting on skirt and blouse you can decide to tie it in between your 
dress so just tie it in between so it will be on your waist so that's the reason why i put this rope then so that i won't be retying 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 so i put this rope for me to tie it once so that it will be okay on my body so i have it in four pieces you can see this is it one two three four so i have it in four pieces one two three four this is it If you want to use this as paja, as in the one that you put on your shoulder, so you fold it this way. You know, we have two pieces of it. You fold it into two this way and you place it on your shoulder. But as for this, you know, this one we have three pieces. If you want to fold this one, if you want to use it on your shoulder, you fold one of it in, you fold this one in, one, one piece, and you use it this way and you place it on your shoulder this way you can see place it on your shoulder two pieces will be outside and one pieces will be side so that's all about it so now i'll be using this to explain how to sew it so you can see so and our head jet do have front and back and some don't have so like this one now is the same thing this one that i'm holding the front and the back is the same thing this one does not have the wrong side or the right side but as for this you can see there is wrong side and there is right side of this so and this one also have the wrong side and the right side if you check it very well the, the shiny on it one is shiny than the other side as for this also this one have the wrong side and the right side also so so in this so you pick it one by one so this is one of it so if you want to sew it you place it on each other but you can see this half pattern this ashoki that i'm holding you can see there is pattern on it so there is design on it so if you want to sew your ashoki you need to check it very well so now if i want to sew this ashoki now so i won't place it this way if i should place it this way it doesn't make sense so this side with this side so i will just change my pattern this way so you place it like this you can just place it like you can see so you place it this way you can see so just place it this way and sew it down with half inch be up to half inch so you just place it on this like this and you sew it down you can see that the pattern came out very well so when i place it this way I will be showing you the sewing aspect. Showing you the length. So you measure it this way. You can see it. I have one yard here. This is two yard. Okay. I say it so. This is two yard and twenty inches. This is it. So this is the front aspect. So I will be placing it on each other like this. So you place it this way. You can see. Can see it you swing from the
is the third one place it the same way Join the three pieces of ashoke together. This is it. So we now have the length of our edge, and as well, we can use it for hand drop also. So you can see this is it. So now I'll be folding the edges here. So, yeah, now. so let me do that. this is it same thing applies to the second for the two side you can see it this is it so that is all about the cutting and sewing of our head chair known as gilly and can also be used as hikbele so this is it so if you find the video helpful kindly give it a thumbs up if you have any question or suggestion you can drop it in the comment section below kindly subscribe to my channel and make sure it turns on your notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be notified thanks for watching bye